Thalassemia is a blood disorder and it is actually a genetic mutation which occurs in the hemoglobin proteins. Uh, hemoglobin is uh, formed by alpha and beta proteins. So there are alpha and beta chains present which constitute hemoglobin. So if there is defect in production of or genesis of alpha or beta chains, then because of lack of these chains, the hemoglobin that is formed is defective. So alpha thalassemia is because of defective alpha gene production or alpha protein production and beta thalassemia is because of defective beta or uh, uh, decreased amount of beta uh, chain synthesis. Uh, alpha thalassemia is not that symptomatic. Beta thalassemia has more issues. So we'll mainly talk about beta thalassemia. Today. Thalassemia, as I told you, is a genetic disorder. So there is no cause. It does not. It, there is no environmental or some exposure which causes thalassemia. It is because of the mutations which have already occurred in the parents. So if the parents are carriers for thalassemia gene, so if both the parents are carriers, then there is one in twenty. Uh, like there is twenty-five percent, like one in four chance that the child will be thalassemia major. So actually it is in that case we can also say that this is a preventable uh, disorder because we can test before the baby is delivered, we can test for the mutation and get to know whether the, uh, the child who is going to be born will be suffering from thalassemia major or not and we can decide for termination of pregnancy timely. Thalassemia are uh, if we are talking about thalassemia major, then the symptoms of anemia that is lethargy, lack of appetite, irritability, and uh, recurrent infections, fallen hemoglobin, need for uh, repeated blood transfusions, they all start happening before the age of two years and usually at around six months of age. And if we are talking about non transfusion dependent thalassemia, that is uh, not thalassemia major but another form of thalassemia where the beta chain production is decreased but uh, not as low as thalassemia major. So in that case the similar symptoms begin to occur after two years of age and uh, their uh, frequency of requirement for blood transfusion is lesser compared to transfusion dependent ones. Thalassemia, uh, see, uh, only curative treatment for thalassemia is bone marrow transplant. And for that, we require a donor who is a match. Sibling is preferable, but there are other forms of transplant like from unrelated donor who is fully matched or sometimes matched related donor also. And the uh, uh, other form of treatment is, it actually is not treatment. It is a process like we keep on transfusing the patient. Uh, so it is a lifelong process. They need a lifelong blood transfusion along with medications which help in iron chelation because because of frequent blood transfusions, these patients get iron overloaded and start developing complications because of uh, high iron which gets uh, accumulated in various organs of their body. So they need medicines for that lifelong. Thalassemia, I told you, it can be prevented only when we uh, like uh, we were uh, talking that this is a mutation disorder. So when the parents get married, either before their marriage, they can get a testing done, a small test called HPLC, small blood test, and uh, not very uh, not very costly. So they can get an HPLC test done, and they'll know that they are carriers. If they are carriers, then when they conceive at that time of at that point of time. Uh, they can do, uh, they can tell their gynecologist and they can perform a chorionic villus sampling. That is also a very uh, small bedside test. They can uh, do it around 6 to 10 weeks of gestation. So that is a very early stage. So they can uh, get to know whether the child, they are uh, conceiving that child is suffering from thalassemia major or not and decide for termination of pregnancy if that is the case.